Hello all. Today we will discuss the topic called Hardware Parallelism. In the previous lecture, I said there are two types of parallelism. One is an hardware parallelism. Another one is an software parallelism. So what is hardware parallelism? You know hardware resources. So how the utilization of resources done in the hardware parallelism and uh, the characteristics what the convuls conventional processor will do and what is the multiprocessor will do and some examples of the hardware parallelism. So the first point is resource utilization. As I said to achieve parallelism we need a joint effort of both hardware and software parallelism. So if we have a resources we have to utilize it in a proper way then that is then the resource utilization is good so hardware parallelism the first point is resource utilization utilization of the resource should be proper and then if the utilization of resource is proper then the performance of the processor uh, resources will be high which means peak performance of the processor resources peak means will always achieve it high so proper utilization of resources and the, if you are utilizing the proper resources the performance is high so this is called as hardware parallelism what is the characteristics so here what i write here is number of instruction issue i will say what is instruction issue I hope you remember the concept of pipelining. Fetch, decode, execute, write memory. Consider each and everything is called as an issue. Fetch the data from the memory, decode the data, or doing arithmetic or logical operations, and execute the arithmetic and logical operations, and write the result back into the memory. So everything called as issues, what I said in a pipelining, every clock cycle, each issue will be executed. But in a parallelism, multiple processor can execute multiple instructions. Here, number of instructions issue. Let us assume that we have a three instructions. One is an arithmetic instruction, another one is a memory instruction. Another one is in branching instruction. Three issues per machine cycle, which means per clock cycle. They can do these three instructions simultaneously in one clock cycle. What are the issues I said? Arithmetic instruction, memory and branching. These three issues can work simultaneously in one clock cycle. If it's so, which means one clock cycle in one processor. Okay. So then we could say it as K issue processor. We have a one processor, but it has the talent of doing three issues at a time. What if the conventional processor will do? It need one or more machine cycles to issue a single instruction. Here you should be very careful. It need more than one clock cycle to issue a single instruction. To issue a single instruction means either any one of the issue, either arithmetic issue or memory issue or branch issue. They need one or more machine cycle, which means machine cycle is also called as clock cycle. To issue one issue or to tell one issue, it need more than one clock cycle then we can say it is a one issue machine but in a multiple processor k instructions are executed in n processor because first processor one instruction second processor another instruction we can say this is the ith instruction this is i plus one third processor i plus two instructions simultaneously three processor executing three different instructions so which means we can execute n into k which means k is the total number of instruction n is the total number of processor so how many instructions or how many threads 
it needs a nk thread so what is thread you may wonder that in a operating system you might hear about the term thread is a control flow of execution this will discuss later so here to handle maximum nk threads okay or else we could say thread is a part of the program okay so multi processor will have a or will do the multiple issues for a single instruction uh, in a different processor or else for each instruction have a number of issues that will be handled in each clock cycle but here one instructions or one instruction issues per one clock cycle sorry not one instruction k instruction issues k instruction issues per one clock cycle so which means this is k issue processor this is one issue processor and this is n into k because it is a multiple processor so n into k for example intel i960 ca which means this is a processor it has a three issue which means it is a single processor but it 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 will do three issues at one clock cycle so which means it will comes under the category of this which means k issue processor since it is a one processor but it can handle three issues for one clock cycle so what are the issues arithmetic memory and branch this risc this will be uh, this is the multi processor for uh, sorry this is the processor made by ibm it is a four issue processor so the same arithmetic memory branching the another inch issue is floating point issue so one clock cycle it will handle the four issues what i am saying here for first instruction it will perform arithmetic the same instruction it will perform memory operation for the same instruction it will perform a branch for the same instruction it will perform a floating point issues all these issues can be done at the same time so that is called as k issues processor but here even if you want to handle the arithmetic issue it need a more than one clock cycle so that is the difference between conventional processor as well as the normal processor or we could say it as a uni processor but in a multiple processor multiple issues can be handled for multiple instructions okay so these are the difference of the parallelism so the resource utilization is main and you have to measure the performance of the resource thank you